Hello and welcome to another Excel at the Office video. In this video I'm going to quickly show you uh, a problem you might encounter and how to fix it. The problem is with pivot tables and what you may find is in your data set you may have some old legacy uh, categories that your pivot table summarizes um, and if those are no longer applicable, your data set's been refreshed. However, those categories still persist in your um, filters and it just shows as blanks or um, maybe you've changed the name of a category to something you used to call it uh, mail and now you just call it M, for example, if you're doing survey responses. And what you'll find in the pivot table, even though there's no data for it anymore, it will show um, the mail, for example, with uh, zero records and the M with all your records. And it's a pain in the neck to um, keep having to filter them out. I'm just using a, a, a dummy pivot table here. I've downloaded the um, Hadset weather data which um, I'm going to do in another video just to create a pivot table and I'm going to zoom in uh, to show you what you do to fix this issue of removing any old categories that are no longer in your data but the pivot table seems to want to keep presenting so all you do is right click on the pivot table go to the pivot table options and this is so simple someone showed me the other day it's um, I can't believe uh, I didn't know. Under the data tab, what you'll see is, as with lots of things in Excel, um, these options seem to be buried deep within it, uh, various options. Under retain items de deleted by the data source, instead of automatic, you want that set to none. And if you click OK, that will fix your issues. Obviously I, I don't currently have a data set um, with all these old legacy categories but I'm just used a pivot table to show you how to access that option. So just a reminder, right click on the pivot table to bring up the options. Um, as it happens I, I always switch off this auto fit column with on update so when you refresh the data it doesn't um, interfere with all your formatting. But anyway that's a, another handy tip while we're there. So under pivot table options, data in this drop down for retention of any old nonsense items you don't want anymore. For some reason, Microsoft think, yeah, I want to muddy it all with all my old stuff. Um, actually, most people would probably want none selected and then click OK. Hope you found that helpful. Check out my YouTube channel for other Excel and other Office application tips and templates. Uh, let me know in the comments below uh, any issues you're encountering. Give it a like if you feel like it and I'll speak to you again soon.